Hello and welcome to Selenium CSS Selector Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, how you can select the web element using the other web element attribute. So we have already discussed about the ID and class attributes and the symbol for using the ID or the class if it is present in the particular attribute of the web element. But in case you want to select the other web element attributes, uh, web element which have different attributes. So you can use the very basic syntax that we had uh, covered in the very first tutorial. So like this same basic syntax, it's not going to change. It can be utilized for other attributes as well. So for example, you have the attributes like type or placeholder or value, etc. You can utilize the same uh, syntax which we have discussed in the first tutorial uh, the tag name and the attribute name so for example the attribute that we want to select is the type or the placeholder or the value and then uh, the equal to sign and in single quotes the value of that particular attribute so for example I want to select the input field which has the value sign me up right so this, the example will be uh, the syntax will be simply input square braces and the value is equal to single quotes and the value sign me up. So you can also combine multiple attributes to make the uh, web element unique. So in the last tutorial we have seen that there might be chances that the attribute that you are selecting that is common the value of that particular attribute is common across multiple web elements and that's what we have seen here right so if i simply uh, scan or inspect the text box here the name text box so in this particular text box you can see the class is text field right let me refresh this so I just want to see the class as text field. I don't want to, uh, once the error comes in, the class changes to text field has error. So this particular class text field is common across multiple web elements. So it's common for the last name, right? If you see that it's, it's same class for the email address, and then it is same for the company name as well right so first name last name email company name so if you're selecting this particular or if you're selecting this web element say for example first name using the class attribute then you won't be able to just identify this web element just by using the class attribute and you have to do a combination of multiple attributes in these sort of scenarios to identify the web elements uniquely so and that's where you can utilize the other attributes like type, placeholder, value, etc., which are unique for that particular web element and not use class or ID if it is common. So for example, here I have the name, right? So name uh, mostly will be unique for the first name, right? Because it says user first name. So I can use the name. Or if I use the type as text, it will be uh, sort of, it won't be common or it won't be unique for the particular for this particular web element because it will be uh, used for the last name email address as well so here you can see the type text is used for the company name as well so that's not unique as well and that is why we need the other attributes so for example to uniquely identify this web element first name right so what i'll do is i'll just open the search box command f on mac and control f on windows so it opens this selector or search window and here i can start typing in uh, the tag name right so input and then i'll say the attribute so the first name attribute that i want to utilize is the placeholder so just provide the value uh, placeholder and then is equal to and the value of the placeholder in single quotes so the value is first okay and then close the bracket now you can see that this particular 
web element has been selected uniquely one of one with the attribute which is not id or class i have chosen this particular web element using the placeholder attribute of this web element so you can utilize similarly the type or any other attributes that are present for the web element using this simple approach or very common um, syntax now how you can form the advanced CSS selector using mix of tags or ID or class name so in case the class name or ID is not unique for a particular web element you can do a mix of multiple attributes and form the CSS selector which will which is sort of unique so for example the syntax for that is uh, the tag name if you are using a class right so the class whatever the class value is and so the dot symbolizes the class name right or, or the class and the value of the class and then the attribute or the other attributes that you want to utilize similarly if you're using the id and the value of the id is not unique you can you utilize the other attributes which are unique to identify the css selector for that particular web element so let's understand this on this uh, particular instance so for example here i want to identify this web element using the class value right so let me delete everything and i'll copy the class name here and the tag in uh, the html tag is input so i'll start with input and dot symbolizes the class and the value of the class right so now you can see there are six instances in this particular case so the six values are being selected which have the class as text field now this is not unique if i just want to select the first name i need to utilize some other attributes of this particular web element as well so now what i'll do is i'll simply do the square brackets and then say for example i can use any of these attributes that are present so i can say uh, type is equal to text so let's start with type and then we'll say text in the single quotes right so now even with this particular text it is not unique because there are uh, there are four web, web elements which have the same class and are of type text so i need to pick some other attribute which is unique so let me change this to placeholder right so this is just to explain you or to show you how you can utilize the other attributes and write the CSS selector so now you can see one of one has been selected with the class attribute text field and the placeholder for that particular class right so placeholder is unique you can simply identify this web element just by using placeholder now why i am showing you this whole syntax is to explain you how you can utilize multiple attributes to form the complex uh, or the advanced css selectors using multiple attributes now the other very important thing to remember here is that you can uh, add many other attributes so for example here if you see the second example here wherein i have used the the id attribute right so id symbolized by hash and then the value of the id so i have used the type and the value as well right so i you can do this sort of syntax as well so for example let me remove this and use this sign up button and inspect this so i can simply say that input right and the the id is submit button so i'll just start with hash and the id is submit button okay so even with this it is uniquely identified but i'll show you how you can use other attributes as well so you can just start with the square brackets after that in case you are not able to identify this element 
uniquely with the ID of that particular web element. You can add other attributes, so for example, the value or the type or class as well to identify this uniquely. So what I'll do is I'll just say uh, type is equal to submit, right? And then another square bracket, I can use another uh, attribute, I'll say value is equal to in single quotes, uh, sign me up, right? So I'll copy this value here, okay? And that's how you will make or you'll create the CSS selector which utilizes the multiple attributes of that particular web element. So this is very helpful in case you are trying to identify the dynamic web element or the web element which doesn't have one particular unique type or unique attribute. Then in that case, you can do a combination of multiple attributes to find that particular web element uniquely using the CSS selector. So let me do the same thing in the email and then we'll use this particular uh, CSS selector and pass in some value, right? So let me see what is the class or ID of this particular email. So input type ID is email. So I'll just simply change it to email. And then I'll use two more attributes there. So I'll just say class, okay, or I'll just say placeholder. Okay, so in the placeholder, single quotes and the value of the placeholder. So I'll simply paste in the value here. And then I'll use another attribute, which is say name, right? So I'll simply say name and single quotes and then the value of the name, right? So now you can see one of one is selected and this is uniquely identified. So let me copy this whole CSS selector and open PyCharm wherein I have the script to enter some values on this particular web page. And this is the robot framework that we have the whole tutorial series if you are interested to learn. So here I'll paste the CSS selector that I have created and then I'll pass on the value email, right? So let me run this particular script. Let me remove this particular line here and run this and see that this particular CSS selector works fine wherein we have utilized the multiple attributes for that particular web element. So it's opening the web page and it will open developer.salesforce.com and maximize the page and it should type in the email, right? So it has typed in the email successfully. It waits for four seconds and close the browser. So which shows that this particular CSS selector is working fine and is uniquely identifying the particular web element using the CSS selector that we have written. Let me minimize this and go back to the slides here. So that's basically about the uh, locator strategy or CSS selector using the other web element attribute and how you can utilize multiple attributes of particular web element to identify the web element uniquely on a web page using CSS selector. So hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.